Sorry guys, trying to get something going here. Well, I gotta start over. Let's do this again. So seal he's gonna talk about in the middle of this engine. I like following this guy's channel. He's got some nice stuff there. But wait till you hear this part. This tranny is a twelve thousand dollar tranny. Oh. You cannot buy this anywhere but the dealers for tributary crap. It's in a twenty eighteen Nissan Titan with a five O Cummins in it. The tranny, the front uh, input shafts. It was leaking. So it's twelve thousand bucks, he said, for the tranny transmission. But he can't find a little seal that goes around that around there, guys. There's a little shaft that spins right there. Now here's the real kicker. And it's a, a seal that stops the fluid from inside the transmission from coming out. In this case, the seal is uh, fractured to some degree, torn, whatever, and now it's leaking. So, here. so we pull the tranny out to find the leak. It's just dripping. You can see here, and we pull the tranny out. Call the dealer up, send us a seal, no seal. We go, what do you mean no seal? They're like, not available. And that's when we start looking into this thing. There's nothing available for this tranny. You, an oil pan gasket, that's all you can get. So, except if you want to buy a whole tranny. So there's another example of uh, you know the manufacturer forcing you out of a vehicle that can be fixed to buy a new one. It's disgusting. And that's my opinion about that, and I'm not going to... Well, let me retract. Let, let, let hear it again, guys. Hold on. Available for this training. You, an oil pan guy. What do you mean, no seal? They're like, not available. And that's when we start looking into this thing. There's no. So he's bitching about no, no seal available. Right? No seal available for this. Well, it turns out he said he called the dealer. The dealer said there's no seal available. I don't know which dealer he called, but I did a simple search and I find part numbers. And things like that for for the uh, transmission for Titans, clutch converters, rebuild kits. I find I find them all. So what what what's his agenda with stuff like that? Well, he did say he was specific about he called the dealer the dealer, not dealers the dealer. And then he's upset about it. And he does his one minute video. It's the content that you know. I tell you in my in my my video uh, on my uh, homepage. Look, I'm gonna leave some Columbo type hints. That means a little little slip and skip and, and it's up for you to catch it. And if not, don't be patient. I'll get back and, and reveal it. But that's what I'm re telling you. But I'm not saying something like, hey, I went to the dealer. You know what? They had they have no tires. This car is useless now. They've got no tires. Everyone in all you guys common sense go, man, don't don't go to that dealer. It must be out of stock. Or you know something, but there are tires for your car somewhere. All right, there, there are parts for this V, this Titan, somewhere. They didn't just make the Titan transmission as now. It's not serviceable, as he's trying to allude to or state clearly. It's, it's not true. It's not true. Now, if he wants to hustle his customers and tell them that the dealer doesn't have the parts, we've got to do a $12,000 transmission, that's just, that's just freaky, right? That's just nasty. The other thing is seals, and I've replaced seals a lot on my, some of my equipment. Now, the, there are some aftermarket there are places that you can send your old seal to, and they'll make your seal. All right, they'll literally make it. you got to wait for turnaround time on that. But you can send them your seal, tell them what oil, you know, what's coming in, at, what, what uh, lick fluids is coming in, in contact with, and temperatures, and they will send you back a seal. Now, especially during COVID, they had a, 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 it was a major seal issue. They weren't, you know, the, the supply chain. So everybody had to switch over to, uh, um, uh, I want to say urethane, even though it wore out sooner under a lot of your lubricants. Let's just say urethane for now. It's, uh, even though it wore out under a lot of lubricants, you had no choice. You had to flip it out. You had to you know, let it wear out and then put another one on. It, do, it will last a time period. And then eventually when your supply chain gets back stable, when you get the leak, you, you get the, the uh, manufacturer or recommendation for that oil. Uh, so you can have a choice. You can switch oils out, which I wouldn't recommend, or you can let a, a, a seal be sacrificial. That seal is reproducible, all right? There's machine shops that can do the one section of it and then he just needs the uh the uh, gasket type um whatever it may be if we could pull this up it might look a little different um I, I, well sorry guys it's not it wasn't interactive i thought it would be 
This is seven speed automatic transmission that I pulled up. Now I don't know exactly that model, that engine, what transmission came with his. He just stated the engine. I mean, there was two of them. They could be four wheel drive, two wheel drive. It looks like it, you know, I did the front, I tried to see the front of his vehicle to see if it was four wheel drive or not. Couldn't quite, couldn't quite tell. And that's when we start looking into this thing. There's nothing available for this training. You, an oil pan gasket, that's all you can get. So, except if you want to buy a whole training. So, there's an... Yeah, so I, I can't tell if that's... Is that a... Another example of, uh, you know, the manufacturer well, force... It's a diesel. I would assume it's a... It's a, a, a the, uh, you I didn't go out of a fully down the rab rabbit hole on it, on the exact vehicle. Because there's only two options, and I just wanted to find options on random one seal. No seal. We go, what do you mean no seal? They're like, not available. And that's when we start looking into this thing. There's nothing available for this tranny. You, uh, nothing available for this tranny. An oil pan gasket. That's all you can get. So, except if you want to buy a whole tranny. So, there's another. So, so that's, a, that's a lie, right? If you're going to go to the dealer, yeah, the dealer, quite frankly, doesn't have a lot of old uh, parts. They, 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 don't, they don't keep it as much as uh, other um, um, secondary sources. And aftermarket freak, frequently has an upgraded product. You often, often don't want a dealer um, replacement part, guys. The aftermarket sometimes is an improved uh, product over the... Uh, over the dealer's original product. Uh, okay, and in the video, I just want to say that, you know what, I like this guy, but I got to call bullshit when I hear it. So let's see if anybody else called bullshit on him. And probably not, because everybody's probably scared of him because he's got such a big shop and, you know, you're scared to call him out. The farm tractor guys have been screaming, screaming about this for years. Um, yeah, just order. Just remove get, just remove seal. And send it to a, I'm going to quote, seal manufacturer. They will match or improve. Improve uh, your seal. The end. All right. They will match it. They will match it. I didn't say it. I said or. I thought match or improve. Um, just remove seal and send it to a, de a deal manufacturer. Really, guys? A seal manufacturer. All right. Maybe Google won't change it now. Here we go. I'm going to end this video now. just wanted to show you that. Yeah. Don't believe all. I mean, it's so much of this bullshit going on on YouTube. And here's this big guy doing that. Instead of saying, you know, he said we're going to figure it out. At the end, we're going to figure it out. How can you figure it out? You have no ability, since the fat manufacturer doesn't have it, you have no ability to figure it out. Let's hear what he said. To buy a new one. It's disgusting. And that's my opinion about that, and I'm not going to hold any, any, you know, I'm not holding back on that. The truck's only six years old. I don't know how we fix this. I'm tolerating this from the manufacturer, but anyway, we'll get her fixed. This train is a 12... I don't know how we're gonna how we tolerate this manufacturer, but anyway, we'll get it fixed. As he slips in the uh, the what I call the amygdala thing, right? Can't can't keep the lie going. So the uh, we'll get it fixed. It's impossible for them to get it fixed. He just said it doesn't. Have, the manufacturer doesn't have the, the the dealer didn't have the parts. So you see the little, you know the uh, the uh, the nastiness in his uh, post. How can you fix it? It's impossible for you to fix it. You already said the dealer doesn't have it. You have no other brain resource to fix this. You're done. How, how can you fix it? You're bitching about the dealer not having a part. You guys have owned cars. You men out there for a million years. You know that you got to find ways to get that part. Like I just told you about seal. So this is how do you uh, find a seal. So under a simple search, uh, under simple search, you see that it says, uh, Custom rubber gaskets and seals. There's one. Scroll down a bit. Uh, seals for personal use. American Casting and Manufacturing. 516. Oops, sorry. Custom molded rubber parts. Custom gasket manufacturers. Uh, independent seal company. Seal Science. Which is the best mechanical seal company? 
custom machine seals. So what the fuck is he talking about saying that this is a big problem for him, for, for him because the, manuf the, uh, the dealer, let's be clear, the dealer won't give him the part. The dealer, the, meaning the dealer he contacted, not the other dealers. So I would challenge him to put the fucking part number out on the damn page and watch how many people can, you know, can give him his damn part, his uh, cross-reference part, etc., these people kill me, you know, people like him, you know, big channels and he still got to do this fakery. Stop with this fucking fakery. I can't stand that shit. You know, at least make a joke out of it at the end. You know, something like, <sighs> until I tell people how to do it. But he's doing just enough to say, hey, look, I need to justify my uh, $200 an hour, whatever he may charge there. Take care. Love you guys. But don't believe some of this shit on YouTube. Clowns like this. And I still like the guy. I'm still going to watch his content. I'm actually waiting for the uh, the uh, Ferrari engine or whatever engine he's working on. The Lamborghini engine video to pop back up that he was working on.